Okay, good morning, uh, everyone. It's Brian here. It's Sunday, so it's time for another lazy Sunday review. It's uh, Sunday morning. Got my coffee here from Dunkin' Donuts. I'm ready to get this review started because this one, I'm really excited about this one. Um, it comes to, to guitar playing or, or playing a string in instrument that requires a plectrum. Um, the things that interact uh, with the from us as, a, as as the player with the instrument, um, you know, we have our, our fretting hand that interacts with the strings and the fretboard. And then we have our picking hand, which we hold a pick. Um, early on, um, for a long time, picks were made out of tortoise shell. Then, as you know, that that became illegal because it was damaging uh, tortoises and putting uh, that species in danger, so start making them out of plastic. And um, manufacturers and companies forever have been like, yeah, use plastic that has a tone resemblance to tortoise shell. And uh, it's the most popular plastics for the longest time. Been uh, Durlin, uh, Cellulide, and uh, Ultum Nylon and on and on it's, it's been you know it's been the way it is there's really been no change in the shape of the guitar pick uh, you might get like pointier versions more rounded versions but general same shape and you know triangular sh triangular shape um, plastic flat uh, different thicknesses and that's been it about a year ago when this company came out called Dra Dragon's Heart Guitar Picks. Um, saw some videos here on YouTube about them. Um, saw, you know, I discovered them through Instagram. <laughs> Just browsing Instagram, I was like, that's a weird pick that person that picture is holding. Click on the picture. Dragon's Heart Guitar Picks. Let me check out their Instagram page. Let me check out their website. And he, you know what they said? Why does a pick have to be shaped like this? Why does a guitar pick have to be made out of these polymers and plastics? Why? Just because it's been like that for, I don't know, however long now? They said no. We're going to use a different plastic. We're going to use a different shape. And we're going to give you a better, far superior pick. And they did. Now, uh, here's two of my old picks. As you can see, this one's pretty worn down. It's your standard Dunlop Tortex, 88 millimeter. And this is just the same one, it's just black. I just picked this one because it's not worn down, so you can see. And then this is the Dragon's Heart. Uh, right away, tell the difference. Uh, thicker, it's heavier, it's got these beveled edges, the shape. So the Dragon Heart, you got three picks in one. You can see this in, it's your standard guitar pick shape. It's more like your, your kind of like jazz three kind of pick shape or a sharp style pick for really uh, accurate lead playing. And this is more for like some like good heavy rhythms or some, uh, some really fast strumming or just, and then you got like this round, rounded off kind of stubby shape, nubby shape and this is more like um, for open chord strumming for acoustic guitar or mandolin or something like that maybe maybe even bass I don't know uh, I, I don't use this in I, I since I got the pick I've been primarily using this end here and then this end um, and you look at it and you're like well that, that's awkward that's a weird shape not really it's like you hold it just like a regular pick and like I want to change to the sharp end it's quickly BAM I can you know play like a lead line or a lick and just really dig in and get more accurate and back to the rhythm stuff and um, you know Dunlop Tortex yeah, they're, they're, I thought they were good picks thought they were decent so I got this thing and then it's like 
Are you guys? I'm using the reset. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, Dunlop Tortex, they're made out of, you know, like most plastic guitar picks, they're made out of Durling. Um, Dragon's Heart, all of, all of their picks contain a polymer called Polymod Imide, uh, which is this really heat resistant, really durable uh, plastic material that has a lot of applications and it's really chemical resistant. Most notably, it's used on to coat the wiring harnesses on aircrafts, you know, to protect the wiring uh, harnesses on, on aircrafts. Um, the model I got is the Dragon Heart GT. It contains 30% carbon fiber. The grip, unbelievable. The, the pick itself is real slick and smooth, um, but I've, I've used it. You know, I got I got this pick Friday. You know, played it, played, you know, played some stuff on guitar for a few hours. Fingers got all sweaty, but the pick didn't lose its grip. And um, they offer other models. You know, that you have the, the pure, which has which is a hundred percent made out of the polymide I mine uh, material you have the uh, hardened which contains uh, glass fibers in it like think like 30 percent glass fibers and you have the original and like I said you have the one I like that I got the uh, GT which contains 30 percent carbon fiber and depending on the materials each one will last you a certain amount of time like the GT model states on the Dragon Hearts website, that will la last up to 1,400 hours of playing. And whereas the Harden will last you the longest with up to like 1,500 hours of playing. The, uh, the, the Pure, which is Pure Polymod IMI, is like 1,000 hours of playing, it varies. Um, and they feel better, uh, they sound better, and I love this beveled edge, the way it just attacks the strings, Real gives a nice rear clear attack to the strings. I don't hear that scratchy feeling or scratchy sound that I sometimes hear with like your standard shape size guitar picks. And now I'm gonna play a few riffs, a few little licks. Uh, first, I'm gonna use a standard style guitar pick, a Dunlop Tortex 88 millimeter, and then I'm gonna play the same thing with the Dragon's Heart GT. Play the same thing with the Dragon Hearts GT. different there when I play with the GT play with different input same thing uh, the pick is more comfortable um, got a lot the, the the grip surface is a lot better and like I said the beveled edge the way it it just kind of glides off the strings like and then like I said it, have this in, and then flip back to for this kind of stuff. Um, so it, it's got the best of any kind of style guitar pick you could want in one pick. Like I said, I don't really use this end, the, 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 the nubby stubby end. Uh, that's more, I feel, for like uh, acoustic guitar players, it's a lot of open chords or 
mandolin players doing some some strumming and then go to this little notch here in the pick you get a little bit bit better control here in your fingers um, if you're doing like upstrokes you can't really do that like your standard pick you can't because it uh, top the pick a dig into the little groove there on your finger where, where, where it meets the knuckle and but with the dragon's heart especially if I use the, the sharp end I can get some really good control in the upstrokes if I'm going to do like an upstroke and combine the finger movement with the wrist movement to get real nice accurate precise movement and same thing when it comes use, using this in doing some rhythm stuff I can get a little extra attack on my downstroke and it's e uh, easier on the wrist too I find so um, I think these are top quality product just well made and it's new innovation for guitar picks um, now you look at their website I think it's like nine bucks per guitar pick yeah it's, yeah it's more expensive than your average guitar pick this isn't your average guitar pick this is better it's an improvement um, and then nine dollars is well worth the investment this pick's gonna last me 1400 hours of playing. So that's like just a little over a year. So, uh, check the link in the description below to the Dragon Hearts Guitar Picks uh, website. Check them out. Now I suggest, you know, getting one, trying it out. It's w well worth the investment of just $9. You know, yeah, that's for one guitar pick, but it's worth it. All right. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out the link in the description below to find more info on Dragon Hearts guitar picks. Um, and check out their website. And they're just amazing product. Later's.